Surrounded by the stunning vineyards of the Sierra Nevada foothills is Murphy's, California, a picturesque destination for wine enthusiasts and tourists. This historic town has been home to Murphy's Hotel for over 150 years. The hotel has an illustrious history. Presidents and legends have come to stay in this national landmark. Partners Brian, Kevin and Joel bought the business nine months ago. I own the hotel with my two partners. I run the dining room. I'm the dining room manager. Kevin, he's our bar manager. And Joel, he's our chef. Wonderful, thank you. But it's no one's job to look after the hotel. It's historic, but I think it needs to be maintenance. The historic rooms, I wouldn't even stay in them, and I get a discount. That's air conditioning. That's it. Behind the historic main building, there are 20 so-called modern bedrooms. The modern rooms are maybe modern in the 60s. These are modern? It kind of looks like my grandma's room. It smells like it, too. Sadly, the owners are too busy drinking in the bar to notice the state of the hotel. Oh, man. Owning a bar at 32 years old can be just a great party seven days a week. Give us some tongue, Ratty, some tongue. What are you ladies out doing tonight? What do you think we're doing? Kevin and I, we love women, and it is a passion, and we have a lot of them coming through here. Don't act like you've never done it. And they're not just all young. We got the Cougar clans coming through here. We are not one to discriminate. We take customer service to the next level. Cheers, boys and girls. Put them up. You know, as a California American male, we were taught during college that uh, it's good. Bin drinking is fun. Why is everybody empty? And I am the fun captain. <laughs> she tried to roofie me. You see that? I am kind of the party guy. I want to make everyone have fun. Right now, they're just kind of drunk idiots. If you're after a drunken lap dance, you've come to the right place. If you want a good night's sleep, you best go elsewhere. I'm exhausted, and I keep hearing these loud noises outside. These people are drunk, and it's driving me crazy, and I'm going to go complain. What do for you? I have a room upstairs. Sure. It's really noisy. The saloon is always first, and then the hotel just seems like an afterthought. This registered national landmark has been run ragged by the owners and is hemorrhaging money. If the guys continue to party and not take things seriously, the hotel's just going to close down. If I don't do something fast, this place won't last another 150 days, let alone years. I think Gordon is going to say, fuck this place, that they're screwed. I'm on my way to Murphy's in Northern California. Now, this place is in amongst some of the most stunning vineyards anywhere in the world. What a beautiful town. Look how busy this place is as well. Littered with stunning little tasting rooms. Now, anyone lucky enough to be running a small hotel here should be sold out every night. If they're not, they must be doing something seriously wrong. Historic. Murphy's Hotel has been placed in the National Register of Historic Places. Nice. Wow. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? So, first name is? Kanitha. Kanitha. Nice Gorgeous to meet name. you. Is it always that busy out there? Um, we usually do get pretty busy on the weekends. Incredible. Um, we have about 16 tasting rooms just within walking distance of the hotel. I love how historic this place is, but have you not updated the furniture since 1850? Bloody hell. My God, it's like going to your grandma's funeral. My God. <laughs> there definitely is a difference between historic and then tacky and old. What we have is definitely tacky. Looks like someone's died in those chairs. So you've been here for a long time? About a year and a half. And what's wrong with the place? Um, well, management, the owners. The hotel is owned by three guys. They're in their early 30s. There's Kevin, Joel, and Brian and they really like to use the hotel as their playground, okay. um, partying, drinking, giving lap dances to the bar patrons. So, uh, so we just, uh, there's lap dance. Lap dances while they're bartending. The owners, if they continue partying and giving lap dances in the bar and acting how they've been, the place is just gonna keep going downhill. We put you in the presidential Ulysses S. Grant room. This is the actual bed that President Grant slept in, except for the mattress. We did get rid of that. What's the glass box for? Um, this is our display room. Display room? Yes, so guests and customers can come up and take a look. 
When were these last um, replaced? Dreadful. Um, oh, shit. I can't really tell you that. Uh, it sounds like I'm in a museum. So am I a guest or an exhibit? You're a guest. Tell me. Tell me. What are those people doing? Come on through, everybody. Take a look inside. Room. Close the door, Emma. Close the door. OK, we're going to be on display today. It's usual for the tourists to come through sometimes. And if a guest checks in and they just, for some reason, forget to close their door, they're going to have people crowded around looking at them. They literally come over and they, hello, how are you? Oh, well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> it's like a goldfish bowl in here. Ladies, thank god I wasn't in my underpants. <laughs> Is that normal? They just come and have a look around? Um, yeah. You know, um, we normally get complaints, right. and there's really no one that handles that or takes care of it. But there's three owners. Yes. A lot of the time, they're busy bartending or drinking. Or lap or dancing. Or lap dancing, exactly. This is insane. Unfortunately. OK, I'm going to unpack. Can this uh, room be off the tour for a while? We'll see what we can do. Thank you. You're welcome. First impressions. I mean, it may be steeped in history, but it smells like the room's steeped in piss. Put you in the presidential Ulysses S. Grant room. I've just arrived at Murphy's Hotel near Sacramento, California. It's like I'm in a museum. We're going to be on display today. Hello. Thank God I wasn't in my underpants. Time for a bite to eat. I hope the food here is less stale than my bedroom. Ah, Murphy's a star for ten, probably a month. Oh, he looks a happy bunny. Oh, hello. How are you? Party of one. Party at once. Okay. Uh, not a party for one. Uh, <laughs> good to see you. I'm Brian. Is that the same? Congratulations. <laughs> Employee of the month. Um, Thank you. Do you get a bonus? Do you get a night nice stay? No, do you get a free um, dinner? I, I'm one of the only employees that never made the cut yet. I see. You just put yourself in. And what are the owners going to say about that? I'm one of them. I'm Brian. Stop yes. it. Yes. Come on. Hey, the other owners got their shot on there. You're the owner, and you made yourself Employee of the Month. Yeah. Are you the man with the G-string? The G-string? Reception was telling me, do you do lap dancing? Oh, no, that would probably be Kevin. Oh, I see. I don't know. My booty's a little too big to do the right. lap dancing. OK, now. I was going to say, I can't wait to see that one. All right, I'd love to meet the other two, the chef and the lap dancer. Are they around? Are they, you want to bring them out? Yeah. All right, Kevin and Joel and I, we're all equal shareholders in this business. But it was my plan to buy the hotel. Hello. Kevin. Kevin, Gordon, good to see you, nice buddy. And this is? Hi, Gordon and Joel. Joel, so you're the lap dancer. There might have been some laughter. Okay, they're right. I'm, just, yeah. just, I'm dying to find I mean, out. I'm not a, I'm not a professional. <laughs> Maybe once in a while, but... Okay, fine. I'm a wild one when I start drinking. I get a little stripper action going on, or they get a little rowdy, and can be the most fun that any young adult could ever dream of. So, obviously, the chef. Yes. Restaurant manager. And the lap dancer. Bar manager. Bar manager. So, who's in charge? All three of us. No such thing. Mm. So who runs the hotel? Who's in charge of the, the hotel? Hotel manager job doesn't really entail much. With three owners, normally there's one that takes the reins and two are the silent. Uh, none of you sound and look like an owner. Well, Gordon thinks we don't look like owners, but what, what's an owner look like? We bought the hotel nine months ago. Right, and you guys go back a long way? Just kind of met each other 15 years ago. And... I'm confused whether it's the Three Musketeers or the Three Stooges. Anyway, I'm going to have a quick bite to eat. It's been a, a long journey. Well, I'm excited to taste the food. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Gordon's going to love our food. Joel works really hard at everything he puts out. Everything that comes out the window is a great product. I can't believe this hotel is owned by three guys uh, with a pink dining room. Pink's the new black. Well, it's like a girl's bedroom. Ghastly, ghastly. Um, any specials on today? We had a fresh Alaskan halibut mm -hmm. with a uh, now that I'm talking to you, I've, I've completely forgotten. No, we had, we had the halibut with a, well, this is the first time I forget specials. Don't worry, why don't you check with the chef? All right, I will. You are the restaurant manager, right? Yes, and I was a server, too. Restaurant manager, employee of the month and owner. Yes, all of the above. Employee of the month, I'm going to take that plaque back. Can't even remember the specials. Hey, Joel, I forgot the specials just now. Ryan just kind of forgot our specials. I have seen him do that before. The special is available tonight, the macadamian encrusted halibut. Right, let's try the escargot. Entrees, lamb shank. 
And then, what's the calamari door? What does door mean? It's a doré. It's just a calamari steak. Oh, I'll go for that as well. OK. Thank you. I'll keep all of the menu. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Once Gordon has a bite of Joel's food, Order in. it's going to put a smile on his face, guaranteed. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go, sir. Okay. Scargo in a red wine garlic sauce. Red wine garlic. Mm -hmm. Wow. Jeez. Absolutely rancid. Have a little taste. I mean, nothing's hot. Uh, yeah, strange taste. You know, that's the first, actually, the first time in the history that I've eaten the escargot. Oh, really? And um, I'm going to say that I, I don't like it in any way. No. The escargot tasted like a dirty, funky, disgusting flip-flop. If you uh, sauteed a flip-flop, I think that would be a good, good way of describing it. That was fucking disgusting. I, I want to run home and get some mouthwash for sure, but well, I don't know. Do don't... whatever you need to. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because they stink. Can I water for you? Mm. Please. Do you have any um, little samples of like wine flights? Anything regional? We have talked about that, but we have not implemented it. So you've been talking about it for nine months, but you haven't actually done it yet. No one's even bothered the sort of wine flights or trying to get it together. So. So you've had this place almost a year, and you haven't implemented something that this town thrives on. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. Have you tasted those escargot? Have you? The escargot? Not really. Have you, have you eaten? I mean, you eat here, right? Not very often. Right. Uh, when was the last time you guys sat down and had dinner in the restaurant? Never sat down with all three of us together. Strange, strange. I'm getting slightly nervous that nothing actually gets done here. Anyway, I'm living in hope. May I have some more bread? For sure. Uh, I got the lamb shank coming right out, right? Oh, my God. Look at that. Holy crap. What is that? This is our lamb shank. That's a weird-looking lamb shank. Visually, it looks like the biggest plate of puke. I've never personally had lamb shank ever been here. I do not like lamb. You're the restaurant manager. You don't like lamb, don't eat the scar. I'm the, yeah, I'm the restaurant manager, but I'm not, I'm not the chef. Wow. I think I would just call that a dog's dinner. What a mess. I do apologize again. <clears throat> I'm totally embarrassed that our food is this quality. I've always thought it was better. Hey, Joel. Yeah. The lamb shank. He mentioned that the vegetable gravy goo was a little, little too much. Oh, OK. I'm going to run this out. OK. So fine dining. Frozen, inedible, nasty, excrement. I mean, I, I'm amazed. What's this one? This is the calamari doré steak. That's not garlic in there again, is it? There is garlic in there again. Jeez. It's just how that dish is prepared. Everything's just laced with garlic. Please. Be my guest. I, 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 this, what, what is it trying to be? A sponge. I'm embarrassed. I'm chewing on it going, I just want to spit this shit out right now. Like, this is terrible. So that's the first bite I've ever taken of that. You know this stuff's on the menu, right? You're aware of it. This is your hotel, yes? Yes, I'm not correct. being punked here that you guys are the owners. We are the owners. The owners haven't sent their sons in to take the hit. No. No, this, you definitely this, are the owners. This is us. OK. How do these three stooges qualify to run an historic hotel like this? If they can't even get the food and wine right, how are they going to improve the hotel? I feel like I'm being looked after by college kids. Do they want me to come out? Or It'd probably be good, yeah. Come on out. Sorry, but we're very impressed. Uh, no, I mean, far from impressed. Have you ever actually stood back and looked at that lamb shank as a dish and it's the most horrendous, the most drabby, disgusting-looking fucking lamb shank. Have you given up? No. No. No way. We just started. We're not giving up yet. You just started? Yeah. Have you ever just walked in from outside, checked in, went up to the rooms, and no. you've never done that? Never have. Have you ever done that? No, sir. Have you ever done that? I have not. Oh, my god. What have you improved on since you bought it, truthfully? I make people laugh and smile every day. Seriously? What have you changed? Weekends, we serve breakfast all day. What have you changed, um, menu-wise? Menu, um, um... Fucking hell. I got one, two, three. Three idiots that haven't changed anything. You don't stay here, you don't eat together, you don't criticize the food. Shit reception, shit room, shit food, and three clueless owners. Owners? 
my fucking ass. I'm staying at Murphy's Hotel in Northern California. And after being put on display for gawking tourists Hello, and eating an atrocious lunch, I think I would just call that a dog's dinner. What a mess. I need to see the three nitwit owners in action. Word has got out that I'm in Murphy's and the hotel and restaurant are full of people. I feel sorry for all of them. Joel is running the kitchen. Chickens are burned. Chickens burned. Kevin is getting busy in the bar, and Brian is overseeing the dining room. It should be gear, nice gear cheese. Gear? Yeah. Isn't it gear cheese? Gruyere. Gruyere, I mean. So guests trying to check in are left to fend for themselves. Can we ask you to check in for the room? Is um, everything okay? Uh, yeah, we're waiting. We went up to the front desk and there's nobody there, so we're trying to check in for hotel. The, uh, it's one of the owners nearby. I guess I just arrived to check in. You get Brian urgently or Kevin. What, what about it? About a guest checking in. Oh, guest checking? I can As, do that too. Yeah. Would you, please? I'm sorry. Excuse Thank me. You. you should have to come looking for us in the bar. So that's what happens when guests come in late. They go to the bar looking for... Yes, that is uh, how we do it. Have you ever done that? Checked in and then found the reception closed and went into the bar looking for key? No. no, no I've, I've actually only stayed at hotels probably only a matter of 20 times in my whole entire life. Wow, and you're a hotel owner? Yeah. So how come you guys don't have anybody up here? We got the bartenders or servers like me sometimes taking care of it. Wow. Just sign the top there, please. Once guests get to the rooms, they're in for another unpleasant surprise. <laughs> Let's wait for the drunkards to go home before we open that up. Have a good night. It's very noisy in there from the bar in the street. The owner's ignorance is evident in everything I've seen so far. I'm curious to see what it's like in the parts I haven't seen, like the walk in fridge. What the fuck that is? Oof. Raw pork, cooked chicken, sat next to each other. Fucking disgusting. I wish I'd seen this before I had my lunch. Yeah. Fine dining. It's not. Look at that. Fucking. Look at the mold growing on there. Oh, you dirty fuckers. Bloody hell. There's mold all up the sides too. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at the fucking mold on that. This is absolutely disgusting. <coughs> Bollocks. Wow, fucking hell. So the walk-in, how often is that fridge cleaned out? Uh, Quite twice regularly. a week. Twice a week? Yes. Mom, Marked bars, everything bed. out? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Come with me, all of you. All right. Especially the owners. Sounds good. Sounds good. Really? Fucking hell. Oh, that was an hour. Oh, wow. Man. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Fucking moldy tortillas. There should not be fucking any moldy fucking food. It's fucking horrible. And when was this made? Last Saturday. No, I need it. Ago. Just I smell that. Need to toss it. I know that. And this terrible. You should be fucking ashamed. Okay. Okay. No, it's not okay. What is that? It's to be uh, black mold. What's it supposed mold? to be? Thai chili marinade. Thai chili marinade. But I don't know if it's been used in a while. The sauces was from a chef that had been there like in 2006 or seven or something. This is exactly the same way as you run this fucking hotel. You don't give a shit. Well, I give a shit. I give a shit. If I... this is your dream of running a hotel, then how about manning up and look like fucking owners? We, we are. This is fucking unacceptable and it's not gonna happen anymore. Have you checked out? Because you should do no, the honorable have... thing. Say to these two, fuck it. I'm he has out. not checked out. He's Can a, you let him talk? I have not uh, checked out and I... Obviously, I need to pay more attention and do better at my job. How any of you can run a fucking business? Do you ever see three CEOs, three fucking no. general managers, no. three fucking executive chefs? Huh? It's like dumb and dumb and dumbest. Since my arrival at Murphy's Hotel in Northern California, you should be fucking ashamed. I've been appalled by the three clueless owners. It's like dumb and dumb and dumbest.
Are you guys really the fucking owners? True story. Fuck off. Unbelievable. I mean, three young idiots that are playing at running a hotel, and not one of them have got a fucking clue. I'm mad at Joel. I'm a fucking owner. I don't fucking want to clean. I've been here 12 hours. It's unacceptable. I do want to prove Gordon Ramsay wrong about me being a fucking idiot, fucking dumb and dumber, fucking scoundrel, wanker, fucking whatever British fucking terminology that fucking wanker has to say across from the fucking different pond guy. But I do respect him. Time to get a drink. <laughs> Party, but sorry, I, need, I need to wind down, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go play poker in Reno later tonight, and I'm not going to sleep. Listen to that fucking music. How on earth is anyone gonna ever get to sleep in this hotel? Jesus Christ. That's crazy. You know what? Frog's ass is for everyone in this building right here, right now. This, this doesn't make sense. Anyone in there? Fucking frog's ass. Unreal. There's got to be a quieter room somewhere. Surely to Christ. Here we go. Hey, I, I have a walk-in to clean. I've been here. I want to go get that cleaning because it's number one right now. Is this a, this is a joke? Is this a joke? Yeah. They're partying, and I'm upset, and uh, we're just, I don't know, they're partying. Yeah. What sounds your show? Is your yeah. I'm just they, they wanted to see it, and uh, I was mm. upset earlier, and I'm upset at Joel. I'm upset at everything that's going on, and I want, this is, I'm just upset. How about how about thinking for two minutes about your guests? Well, I, I want to go. Clock, I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna go clean the walk-in. I'm gonna go clean the walk-in. You just walk off like that. Hey, you hey. know what? I'm gonna go clean the walk-in okay, because you know why? Why are you acting like a fucking jerk? Because I'm, I'm upset. That was fucking unacceptable on there. That was unacceptable. The fucking walk-in with the fucking black mold. So why don't you do something about it? I, hey, I was. I, if I, if, if not, everyone in this. <laughs> Clean the walk -in. You just walk off like that. Hey, hey. You know what? I'm gonna go clean the walk -in. Okay, good. You know why? Why are you acting like a fucking jerk? Brian is coming undone and is drinking on the job. I'm done trying to get through to him today. I'm, I'm upset. That was fucking unacceptable in there. It was unacceptable. The fucking walk -in. Okay? You're drunk. Go home. All right. I'm gonna go clean the walk in now, too. I'm gonna do it in a t-shirt. Jesus Christ. I've been told the hotel offers modern rooms further from the bar, so I've asked to be put in one so I can get away from all this madness. It's not exactly quiet out here either. And they call these modern rooms? It looks like my grandma's house from the 1950s. Look at this wallpaper, hideous. And what sort of hotel is this when you can't get a good night's sleep? <laughs> This was supposed to be quieter down here. <laughs> what an awful night's sleep. <sighs> Fucking shower is hideous. Water's freezing. The place stinks. Man. <laughs> Room. My ass. This place is such a mess. From the awful decor, to the dreadful food, to the drunken partying all night long. 
I need to get the whole team together and find out how it's gotten into this state. Morning, guys. Good morning. Morning. Let's uh, go downstairs, have a meeting. Sounds good. Yeah, with the team. Cool. Man, that was a bad night's sleep. The noise above here was insane. I came back downstairs last night, uh, and Brian's ripping his shirt up, shouting, screaming about, hey, shots are all on me. Is that normal? Is that really how these managers operate? When they're off duty, they come behind the bar, turn up the jukebox when I've already turned it down, pour themselves drinks. It's their personal frat house. How does that make you feel? Your employees are concerned that you're drunk in the bar. When do I treat you all fucking badly? What? Yeah. When it comes to scheduling, how many days that you guys have asked off for that you didn't get off? It's not what I'm asking. If you're gonna run a hotel, it's not about having a fucking party. It's about levels of discipline. Well, just so you know, it's not happening anymore. But I'm not gonna be as happy sometimes for you guys. You are as good as your team. They represent you. And based on what I've seen, I don't think you represent them properly. Okay, you go first and tell these owners what they need to hear. We lose a lot of reservations when we don't have somebody to answer the phone. You know, when we leave the front desk, we put the phone in the bar. After 8 p.m., we are the front desk, we are the bartenders. I saw that last night. Yeah. They don't answer the phone because no. they don't hear it. We need online booking. You know what that takes away, online bookings? As front desk girls, you know. We've talked about getting rid of the front desk and putting a computer there, and we don't have a person there. So I'll check in. That's so fine. how do you feel about that? So they complain you threaten to fire them. No. Yep. No, that's not what it is. No. Yes, it is. We, we, yes, yes, it is. You just listening. totally attacked me. I'm afraid to express my feelings. I'm afraid I'm going to get fired. Really? Nobody's threatened here with their job. Nobody has. You been. never threatened me by being fired? I have before. Were you drunk? Yes. You were drunk. Mm -hmm. So. That's the message I'm trying to get through to your thick skulls. You're threatening staff whilst inebriated. This is crazy. People who deserve to be fired are these three standing here. There's no structure. Somebody needs to step up and run the business and everybody else follows suit. You need one general manager. That's the issue. You need to be a leader from the top. That's one person. There can be 25 owners, but there needs to be one general manager. If something doesn't change, you guys are going to lose this place. OK, which one of you is capable of stepping up and running this business? I'm at Murphy's Hotel in Northern California. You're the owner and you made yourself the employee of the month. Yeah. The place is a mess because these three owners behave like frat boys. Cheers, boys and girls! And none of them is a leader. You've checked out! So the staff don't know which way to turn. I'm afraid to express my feelings. I'm afraid I'm going to get fired. Things have got to change. There needs to be one general manager. Somebody needs to take charge. I'm going to take charge. I'm going to run the business. I'm our leader. Out of us three, it's going to be me, guaranteed. If you're going to run the hotel... You got it. You run the hotel. Yeah, 100%. So, Kevin and Joel, are you willing to give him the support and the autonomy to actually run this place? Yes. Yes. Brian, it's your responsibility now to general manage and absolutely toe the line. Gotcha. But there are three rules. Rule number one, to stop drinking on the floor. Gotcha. Rule number two, you have to stop working the floor. Yep. And rule number three, you have to fucking grow some. Mm -hmm. Fast. Mm -hmm. Brian does know the most out of the three of them. So I really do think if he could stop his party in ways, he could really do it. Trust me, if you don't grow up now, you never will. I got it. It's a hotel, not a frat house. I'm not going to be drinking, and uh, I'm going to be an owner. Thank God for that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to change. I'm going to be more of an owner and not a friend slash co-worker. And they're going to see a, a different Brian. The future of this historic national landmark is now in Brian's hands. And I need to know that he cares enough to be responsible. You are young, ambitious, mm -hmm. slightly naive. Mm -hmm. You're going at it in totally the wrong way. You're on the verge of losing this business. Hopefully not. And how would you feel if you lost the business? It would be horrible. It would be horrible, because that's already three years of 60-hour uh, weeks. It's horrible. I'm here to help. But I want you to understand the mess you're in. It's not good. All right. Do you understand? I do. 
deep down inside, there's no two ways about it. You're a fun guy. You've got a lot to offer. Yeah. But just stop being irresponsible. I will. And just man up. Yeah, for sure. And you can do it. OK. I want to make this work. Mm -hmm. From today on, it's going to be a, a change business. It's different. All right. OK. OK. <laughs> I can see that smile back on your face. Thank you. I'll see you later. From this day forward, I'm a change man. And the business is going to reflect all those changes. With Brian ready to take charge as general manager, my design team has worked all night to modernize Murphy's Hotel. And now, it's time to reveal the new look hotel to Brian and his team. Brian, how are you, sir? Gordon, good. How are you doing? You look very smart. You good? You're doing, I'm good. Yeah, good I'm to good. see you. Smart ladies, how are we? Doing great. Yeah? Yes, doing I really am. good. Excited. Good. Right. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the new and improved Murphy's Historic Hotel. Are you ready? Ready. Yes. 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 All right. Let's, Let's go, do guys. this. <sighs> Welcome to your new lobby. All right. Oh, awesome. No way. This is awesome. Oh, exactly oh, how it should oh, be. Oh, yeah. When I first walked in, I was disappointed. It was just like a big anticlimax. Now you have a nice, warm, oh, modern feel the minute you walk in. But your guests will arrive and feel welcomed. Yeah. Take a seat. Oh. Is it beautiful? Incredible. Yes. Amazing. Beautiful. Amazing. Brian, what do you think? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Welcoming. The awesome. colors, oh the contrast, the oh, warmth. Perfect. What Gordon has done with the lobby is beautiful. Now that blue, it's so warm. It's so welcoming. It's awesome. This is a historic hotel. Your ex-president stayed here. Yes. That doesn't happen that often in hotels. Thank you, you happy? very much. Good. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. you're yeah. here. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you, Gordon. Thank, Thank you, Zach. Hold on. Thank you. There's more. Well, there's more. more. From 6 o'clock this morning, you're now live with online bookings. Yeah. You don't go anywhere near the bar. You know what time they're coming. and. You are now in the 21st century. Yeah. Are you ready to see the presidential suite? Oh. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right, President. Come and see my room. Let's go. All right. I think you'll love it. Let's go. Jump in. Oh, my gosh. Now. Wow. It is awesome. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. It's awesome. Yes. President. Yes. <laughs> this one's been freshened up. This one's been spruced up. You need that vibrance. The minute you walk into a room, you want to feel, wow, I'm stepping into history, but I also want some comfort. Yeah. This is fit for a president. Our president now could stay here. Obama <laughs> would be, be OK to stay here now. <laughs> it still feels historic, yes, but it's a bedroom, not a museum. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, make sure that when your guests are checked in, their bedrooms are off the tour. Yeah. Did you put a new robe? Is there something on here to make it softer? No, it's all been lined and cushioned. Okay. And oh, it's a lot softer. Yeah. Yeah. For me, the... The big problem wasn't the linens, it was the noise. We've come up with yes. a solution to narrow that yeah. down. Last call, Good. midnight. Mm -hmm. Well, stick to those times of your bar closing, because the damage you can do to your reputation is devastating. Yep. We're going to follow through and make sure that our customers in the hotel are as happy as our customers in the bar and our customers in the restaurant. <laughs> right, you ready to see the rooms that outside right. that you told me were modern, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me show you what modern is. You ready? Yeah. I love this oh. one. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Oh, God. No way. Oh, look at the color. Oh, look, look at this. You can see why I got upset. The owner's done nothing in nine months. So we've done all this in fucking 24 hours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm blown away. I can't believe the, the creativity that's been put into this place in the last few days. Joel, what do you think? Very, um, lost words, inspired, you know, very inspiring, you know. Listen, you should never, ever ever Amazing. be afraid of change. You've got yeah. to keep on going. No, yeah, I got it. Every time. Brian, what do you think? What's going through your mind? I've never heard you so quiet. <laughs> Breathtaking, though. I don't Breath even know what to say because it's beautiful. It's is this something? Beautiful. This, this is perfect. With this kick in the ass, we're going to go forward, full throttle, and make changes that no one's ever seen before. You ready to see the dining room? Yes. yes. yes this one I love. Yes. The dining room is yes. awesome. Yes. Where, do you, where do you stop, buddy? <laughs> Look at the colors. Oh Come in. Oh, my god. Beautiful. Where's the pink? Oh, my god. Yeah. Gone are those horrendous pink walls. A stunning, beautiful color on the walls that just pop. And there's one more thing. This bit you're going to love. It's a surprise that's going to completely change your business. You ready for this? Yes. Yes. I've just revealed the stunning new improvements to the historic Murphy's Hotel. Oh Our president now could stay here. And now, there's one more addition that will ensure this hotel thrives in the future. You are in the heart 
of some of the most sought after wineries anywhere in the world. And it's a massive market that you have been missing out on. And here's why. Every famous winery has a lovely tasting room on this main street. At five o'clock, they close. Here, you're now gonna pick up that business. This is a menu designed to pair with great local wines. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay. Oh, my this is incredible. Oh my gosh. Start off with that lovely cheese plate. The chicken liver crostini paired with a stunning chilled rosé. And then this wonderful local, local ricotta dip. You now have a perfect menu. When those tasting rooms close at five o'clock, you pick it up and you continue it. And where are they going to stay the night? Yeah. That's right, after dinner. I want you to dig in um, and sample. The wine tasting menu is awesome. The overall experience to any guest that walks through our door now, I believe is going to be better than ever. I like the pairing of the bruschetta and the, the wine that it goes with. It's a very nice, fresh dish. There's no going back. No. There's You're only going up now. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is so phenomenal. This is going to put us on the map, off the charts, reservations off the hook. Thank you, Chef. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. As well as a wine pairing menu, I've changed the entire menu in the dining room. Let me show you one of my favorite dishes. I'm very excited about the new menu. I know where I'm eating every night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Fresh baked lemon meringue pie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at that thing. And the real inspiration behind this was Brian's hair. <laughs> <laughs> This new menu is going to touch a business, a clientele that we've never had at the Murphy's Hotel. And I know personally, I can't wait to eat there more often. With warm and fresh rooms and the new wine tasting menu, my only concern is whether Brian can stay focused on the guest experience. Uh, listen, every night from now on in, in this hotel is a big night, let me tell you. Uh, and it's not just about the bar, it's about the restaurant and the rooms. Push those tasting menus in that bar. GM, are you ready? We're ready. Um, if there's one thing you do not need as a general manager is an apron, get that off. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's go, guys. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's go, team on. Hello. How are you doing? Good. How are you? With extended front desk operating hours, guests can easily check in and feel welcome in the new lobby. Wow. Looks nice. How better be a comfortable sleep I tonight. know. It's going to be fun. And they're enjoying the renovated and peaceful rooms. I wish this was my bedroom. <laughs> this is the uh, new Harlow. And the wine tasting menu is a hit. That filet looks lovely. Oh, thank Guys, you they're so. loving the food. Keep it going, thank yes? You, thank you. Well done. Thank you, and good luck. When I first arrived, you saw three young guys sort of playing at running a bar and completely forgetting that they were actually in charge of a hotel. But Brian stepped up and has taken that general manager role, which is great news. I'm hoping now that they get that party mode out of their mind and focus on the potential of what this business can bring them. Uh, great job. Um, you performed like owners tonight. You sound like owners, and this place, you know, is rocking. The atmosphere in the bar is controlled. Is. The dining room's having fun, the patio's full, the wine tasting menu is flying out. Keep up the good work. Okay, Gordon, he really has opened my eyes and showed me that we need to take more of a leadership role as an owner. I've taken you out of the employee of the month. I know. Choose one together. Yes, we yeah. will. On a monthly basis, have your input. Yeah. Throw it into the pot. I believe Gordon has saved his place by putting wind in our sails again. We truly did need a kick in the ass because we were playing around a little too much. General Manager, remember, Thank actions you. speak I, I, louder hey, than words. Your next day, you'll hear great things, I guarantee. Gordon is amazing. He's a magician, and I think that he came through and he transformed the hotel into this wonderful masterpiece, and I'm so thankful that he came through and helped us. What a gorgeous place. <laughs> Damn. I never did get to see Kevin lap dance. <laughs>since my visit to the historic murphy's hotel the owners have finally become owners joel is keeping the kitchen and the walk-in extra clean and he has new pride in his work i got a well done going right there you can go peek at the upstairs bathrooms one's down the hall showers both restrooms upstairs you, got you, it. you stay there I'm, I'm good right here okay brian is stepping up as general manager focusing his efforts on the hotel brian is definitely capable of being the general manager Gordon has completely changed everything. <laughs> Gordon brought the historic hotel back to life. 